Hi, I'm Matt Battiali for Real Wealth Strategist Newsletter, <clears throat> your home for natural resource investing ideas. And today I want to talk to you about why it's such a great time to own gold miners. Now, I know that not a lot of you own gold miners, probably, um, but to, to give you an example of why this is the right time, we're going to pretend that you and I own a gold miner together. Okay, so this is a great gold mining company. We produce about 52,000 ounces a year. Um, we've busted our behinds to make sure that our costs are about thousand dollars an ounce and over the last year we've managed to average um, to sell our gold for twelve hundred dollars an ounce Are you with me so it costs us a thousand dollars to produce an ounce of gold and we sell it for twelve hundred dollars that means we have about two hundred dollars per ounce um, in profit now when Wall Street uh, analysts look at a, a mining company like this, a producing company, they typically apply um, metrics to figure out what the value of a company should be. Um, and so what they do is they take enterprise value, which is the market value, right? The market value is just the share price times all the shares that they have out, right? So that's, and then they add debt. So if you have any debt, if we borrowed money to build our mine, you have to add that in there. And then whatever cash we have on hand or bullion or valuables, they take that out. That's called enterprise value. And they divide enterprise value by earnings, but it's a specific kind of earnings. We use EBITDA, right, which is uh, an acronym for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. So we call it EBITDA. So EV, enterprise value, over EBITDA. Stay with me now. This is important. <clears throat> so... The gold mining industry right now, um, the average is about 9.5 times um, enterprise value to, to earnings, right? Which means you can shorthand that by thinking that that's how many years worth of earnings um, it would take to buy the company, debt and all, right? So nine and a half times, nine and a half years. Our little company, when we produce 52,000 ounces a year, our little company would have an enterprise value of $100 million, okay, $100 million. So we're doing all right. Our company is worth $100 million. We're producing 52,000 ounces a year. Now, here's the trick. Without doing anything at all, without increasing our mine, without messing around whatsoever, if the gold price goes up by $100 an ounce, right? So from $1,200 to $1,300, what does that do to our share price? What does that do to our to the value of our company? What it does is astonishing <clears throat> because we know that the cost for our uh, per ounce is $1,000. And those $200 extra are profit. If the price goes to $1,300, now we have $300 in profit. That represents to us a 50% increase in our profit. That's outstanding. All that happened was the gold price went up by $100. Most, most investors would see the gold price go from $1,200 to $1,300 and not really care. But if you're a gold investor, a gold mining investor like you and I, holy cow, that's huge. Why? Well, here's why. Remember I said that, that Wall Street uses uh, that simple EV to EBITDA uh, metric. So the enterprise value, the top, stays the same, but the bottom changes because our EBITDA just got bigger by 50%. So if you keep the same multiple, nine and a half times, which is a pretty reasonable uh, uh, number to use, right? nine and a half times enterprise value to EBITDA is really conservative in, in the mining industry. So if we keep that the same, that means that the market value of our company has to go up. By how much, you ask? Well, our earnings went up by 50%. If everything else stays the same, our market value, our enterprise value, will go up by 50%. That's why when the, the gold price goes up just a little bit, gold miners will explode in value, and their stock prices will soar higher because just a little bit, once they have all their costs established and they're not doing anything crazy, um, these mining companies become extremely profitable with just small moves in the gold price. 
And so if you haven't been following gold lately, um, what you should know is it bottomed around $1,050 back in 2016. And it's been up and it's been down. But it's heading back up. And you know what's happened lately? The gold price went from about $1,200 an ounce to about $1,300 an ounce. The market really hasn't caught on yet because gold stocks aren't ripping the way they should. But they will. And so I'm telling you, this is a great time for you to go out and get exposure to gold miners. You can do it the easy way. You can go out and uh, buy a gold stock index. Uh, there are several out there. Uh, the GDX, the GDXJ are very simple ones to go out and buy. But if you really want to make a lot of money, and I mean we're going to make a lot of money over the next year, you should check out the Real Wealth Strategist newsletter because we spend a lot of time digging through filings. We know a lot about these miners before we buy them. And so while the average miner may go up 50%, we're looking at companies. Heck, we recommended a company uh, earlier this year that's gone soaring already. So check out Real Wealth Strategist newsletter. Thanks very much for listening. This is Matt Batty Alley.